Okay, I have been practically stalking our mailman because I have two things to unbox today. There's a package from Amazon and then a package from Timu, which I have never ordered from before. And all but one thing is an art supply. So let me flip the camera around. Okay, the first one I'm going to open is the Amazon. I've been on the lookout for a different sketchbook because I really like these one sketchbooks, but I can only get them at Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to look for an alternative. So I ordered a different one. Ooh, this is a replacement. It is um, just white pastels. Let me open this so you can see it. I've ordered this before. It's a Paul Rubens. There are, I think, five or six in here. Yeah, six. Six white. I believe this was like $10. This one, I had never heard of this brand. Um, all they had were, were sketchbooks. And this was 120 pound, 120, yeah. And it so far, it feels like it's pretty heavy. This. Okay. Oh. Ooh, it's nice paper. It's not as heavy as I'd hoped. But it still has a nice texture, and they're, it's perforated. So, if I need to take something out. This feels more like something I would not use for oil pastels. This is something more that I would use for charcoal. Um, it, ha it feels nice. I just don't know if it's heavy enough to take. The oil pastels like I do them. This does have, it's supposed to have, yeah, it has a pocket in the back also. And this is hardcover. And I think this was like 15 maybe. Um, and I tried to look up this company, company's website, and I I couldn't find anything. All I saw was the store they had on Amazon. Yeah, I have high hopes for this. Let me set that over there. Okay. Now this one, this one I ordered on the 3rd of March. And today is the 13th. So, considering it came from China, And the shipping was free. This order cost me $30. It's free shipping. This is a blank sketchbook. It's about the size that I figured it would be. It said it was five by five. I'll put the prices of what I paid for these on the screen. I may wish I'd gotten more of these. Watercolor paper. Ooh, that's nice and heavy. I know it said it was cold press, so I'm not sure how many. Oh, and it has a pocket in the back also. It didn't say how many pages there were. One. It's a neat little. I like that. Ooh, I think the back's even prettier. Fifty pastels. I had been wanting to try this brand, um, the Mungio. Oh. They don't have the smell that Pentels do, 
and it let's try it for us. They're fairly soft. I like those. I like what I see so far. I think these were maybe thirteen dollars. They were about half of what they are on Amazon. So none of them are broke. Everything looks good. I'm anxious to try these. What's next? What's next? A uh, pencil set. 16 pencils. It goes from 6H to 6B. A nice little set. Again, let me try this on a piece of paper. That's a 7B. Oh, it goes to 8B. Sorry, I, I misspoke. I'm anxious to get those sharpened in my good pencil sharpener. There are 16 of them. And next, there are these Hocus Pocus tarot cards. This was the one thing that I got that was not an art supply. And these were like four something. They were under five. It's like 438 or something like this. I like the size of them. Usually tarot cards are way too big for me, for my hands. That's so pretty. In a way, I wish I had ordered the Nightmare Before Christmas cards, which I guess I still could. It's kind of pretty. Uh -huh. We'll see. They feel a little thin compared to the other ones that I have. But I mean, for four dollars, I mean, yeah, I wasn't expecting. Well, maybe I was hoping. I was hoping it was going to be a little heavier grade. But that's okay. Maybe these will be more like my daily ones. Oh, there's a guidebook in there? All I see are cards. Hmm, that's okay. I'm missing missing something. There's no guidebook. Those will get used though. And then I was excited for these. Watercolor, acrylic, and oil. They have nice spring to them, too. Oh, I ordered these paints, and I knew that they were probably going to be really small, but I was wondering about the quality. Let me see if... Okay, they're sealed, so that should be... Uh, I think four, four different ones of that. These were some like calligraphy brushes. These are smaller than I anticipated in roundness, but that's okay because there's no markings on them. It just says three, lar three large, medium, and small. Oh, I did get five. These are the five I got. And there's blue, black, a yellow, a white, and a red. I is this the last thing? Nope. And I got some palette knives. I was mainly interested in this little one. I was afraid they would be, you know, floppy, really thin, but it doesn't feel like it. Oh, I'm happy with those too. These are some vinyl stickers that I got of Van Gogh. Starry, starry. Go for it. Let it go. 
I really like these. I think these were like $1.97 or something for the whole pack. These will be fun. I know somebody that could use that. He used to have a personal personal tag on his van that said Van Gogh. Yay, yay, yay. Oh. I'm setting that one to the side for a grandson. These are nice. I like these. They're not really thick, but they're, they're adequate. Oh, yeah. I think there's one thing left. And it is half pan. Some half pans. Let me get my watercolor set. This is the watercolor set that I use or that I'm hoping this, these will fit in. Oh, they look a little big, maybe. Oh, that did it. Yeah, I just need to. Now I have enough. I can make my palette whatever I want it to be. Oh, those will work great. Yeah, you're not going to any of these that I want to, I like this case, any of these I can swap out or I have some gouache I can use for that. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I shouldn't have to sharpen them for the test, but let's see. Whoops. That's a back page, back cover page. they mark though I really do but I don't think the I don't think the labeling is if you're used to US standard um, labeling on pencils I don't know that these are accurate but they're nice pencils as far as how they mark Let me get a let me get a six H. Let me get the general brand so you can see the difference. Let's see, this is a four H. See how much see how much harder that looks. Of course, it's sharpened. But well worth. These are well worth what I paid for them.
wish it didn't flake quite so much. To give you an idea, this is the set of 50. I'm not sure what happened to my sound here, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to show you the difference between the, the set that I got from Timu, which is on top, that was 13, $13.97, and then the Paul Rubens, and you can see how much bigger they are, and that the Timu, or the Munion brand, is much smaller. The Munion brand was $13.97, but the Rubens, the Paul Rubens from Amazon was $25 and it seems like they're a lot more pigmented also. Here's everything I got from Timu. These pastels, if they're the same, are $28. On Timu, they were $13.97. This was $4.39 on Timu. And if it was on Amazon, it was $17. But I have a feeling the ones on the ones on Amazon are better. They're probably thicker. I don't know. I haven't seen them, but these are pretty. These are pretty thin. They're cute, but they're not real thick. And there's no guidebook with it. So then these, the half pans on on Timu were two twenty eight. And there's 50 of them in here. On Amazon, they would have been $7. These brushes, I didn't find the exact same one. But these on eBay, because Amazon didn't have them, um, they were the same brand. But um, again, with eBay, they were $10.99. On Timu, they were $4.98. Let's see how they're. I like them. They're not. I'm. I'm excited to use these. So there's those. This little watercolor sketchbook was five ninety eight on Timu. It's got a really pretty cover, and it has nice paper inside of it. On Amazon, it would have been a twenty four page sketchbook, and this was a twenty page. And it would have been $13.99. And on Timu, it was $5.98. Felt knives were $8.99 on Amazon for the same thing. And on Timu, they were $3.48. These calligraphy brushes were $2.98 on Timu. And comparable on Amazon was $16.99. Then I got five of these tubes and they were $1.98 through Timu. I'm not sure about the quality. I haven't tried them out yet but I will and I will let you know. On Timu these were $1.48. On Amazon for the same thing they were $7.95. These were $3.48 on Timu and on Amazon they were $5.99. So the exact same box and all. After using a coupon, which was like $25 off, the amount at Timu came to $30.56. And if I'd bought the same thing on Amazon without these, because I didn't know if I could find something that was comparable. It was $118, and that was not counting these. So, like I said, I don't know about the quality of these. Maybe by next time I will have tested some of these a little more, and I will show you the results of those. So, until next time, bye! And on Amazon, these were $5.99.